We're turning to Belarus, where authorities have arrested the leader of a factory strike in a bid to stem the widening protest movement against President Alexander Lukashenko. Protesters have been on the streets since the country's contested election nearly two weeks ago. Now, the unrest has spread into factories, which have traditionally been a steady source of support for Mr. Lukashenko through his 26-year rule. The exiled opposition leader, uh, leader Svetlana Tikhanovskaya held a press conference, her first public press conference, calling for protesters to carry on the fight. I think that every person in our country uh, feels fear and is scary now, but it's our mission to step over all our fears and uh, uh, move further. Well, our international correspondent Annalise Borges has been in Minsk watching all of this from uh, the inside. She explained where the movement appears to be going now. Svetlana Tihanovskaya spoke about it being time for the fear and the violence to stop here in Belarus. She said she hopes the government will use common sense and negotiate, engage in dialogue. She says that is the only way forward, the only path towards finding a peaceful resolution to this crisis. She also said she welcomed the interest and the support of other nations with regards to what is happening here in this country. But she said she hopes all nations will respect Belarus's sovereignty and trust Belarusians' power and desire and ability to find their own path. She said Belarusians have now awaken and they will not go back to sleep. She says they are fully aware of their rights and will continue fighting for them. She was asked whether or not or just how long she thought these protesters could continue taking to the streets, how long factory workers would be able to continue carrying out strikes. She said she didn't want to speak on their behalf, but she believed something had changed here in Belarus, that people would not forget nor forgive what the government did to them following last week's elections. Of course, she was referring to the brutal crackdown carried out by authorities against protesters across the country.